<clears throat> All right, so this is problem 11.3.19, and the problem is the hypotenuse of a right triangle is 24 feet long, and the length of one leg is two feet more than the other. We want to find the lengths of the legs, and then they specifically ask us to find the length of the shortest leg rounded to the nearest hundredth. <clears throat> All right, so the first thing we need to do in this problem is actually draw ourselves a picture so we can see what this is looking like. And they do tell us that it's a right triangle, and they also tell us the value of the hypotenuse. And remember, the hypotenuse is always the side that is directly across <coughs> from the right angle. So that would be this side right here in the picture that I have. All right, and then if we use... Uh, the other information that's given in the problem, then we can we can actually create an equation out of this. So they tell us that the length of one leg is two feet more than the other. So if I just let the length of one of the legs be x, because we don't know what it is, um, so we need to let it be variable, <clears throat> then they tell us that the other leg is going to be two more than that, so that would be x plus two. All right, so we now have um, a right triangle filled out here, and remember that the Pythagorean theorem says this, when you have a right triangle, the relationship between the sides can be described by a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the a and the b are the sides that come together to create the right angle, and then the C is always referring to the hypotenuse. <coughs> okay. All right, so what we want to do then is we want to plug in each of these values that we have into our equation and then solve. So I'm going to plug in <coughs> x for the A, so it's going to become x squared, and I'm going to plug in x plus 2 for the B, and that x plus 2 is being plugged in as a quantity, so it needs to be put in parentheses because that entire thing is what's being squared. And then on the other side, the C is 24, and so that's going to be 24 squared. <coughs> All right, and so what we're looking at now is needing to solve this, and um, we're going to need to multiply this out and then eventually set it to zero because this is a quadratic. Okay, so remember that x plus 2 quantity squared is actually x plus 2 times x plus 2 if we write it in the expanded form. <clears throat> and then 24 squared is, I believe, 576. Okay, and now we want to go ahead and multiply this out. So this is going to be x squared plus, we're going to have x squared for the first, 2x for the outside, 2x for the inside, and plus 4 for the last. And that is equal to 576. And let's go ahead and collect like terms. So this is 2x squared plus 4x plus 4 equal to 576. Now we want to set it to zero because this is a quadratic and so the way that we are going to solve these is either by factoring, <coughs> excuse me, or um, <coughs> using the quadratic formula. Okay, so subtracting 576, we're going to have, uh, from both sides will give us a negative 572 and then zero on the other side. <coughs> All right, at this point we want to recognize that uh, each of these numbers is divisible by 2, and so I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by 2, and that'll give us something a little bit easier to work with when we go to plug this into the quadratic formula. And so this is going to become x squared plus 2x and minus um, 286 equal to 0. Now, you can try factoring that. Uh, but I don't think it's going to factor. Even if it did factor, we can still put it into the quadratic formula and solve it that way. And I think that's the way I'm going to solve it. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to grab another piece of paper here. So this is x squared 
plus 2x, whoops, you can't see that, um, x squared plus 2x and then minus 286 equal to 0. All right, so <clears throat> using the quadratic formula, the a, which is the coefficient of x squared, is 1. The b here is 2, and the c would be negative 286. So plugging that in, we have x is equal to the opposite of b, so negative 2. So remember, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared. So b here, 2 squared minus 4 times a times c. And that's all over 2 times a. <coughs> all right. And so uh, if we go ahead and simplify this, this becomes negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared is 4. And then we've got 4 times 286. And it's going to end up being positive because we have a negative times a negative here. So that'll be a positive 1144. And that's all over 2. <coughs> So this is then negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 1148 all over 2. Now, in order to figure out how we're going to leave our answer here, um, <clears throat> we actually need to take a look at what how they're asking us to leave it. So they said find the length of the shortest leg rounded to the nearest hundredth. And they did use the word, I didn't write it down, but they did use the word approximate. So they did want us to approximate the answer here, which means we're not going to leave it in the exact form. The exact form is leaving it in radical form. Um, so instead, we're actually going to uh, do, do an estimation, which means we actually need to find the square root for this. Okay. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is I am going to simplify this because I'd like to get rid of that denominator. And I do recognize that 1148 is divisible by 4. And so... Uh, the square root of 4, so if we rewrite it, it's actually 4 times 287. And 4 is, the square root of 4 is 2, so I'm going to bring that out as a 2. And the reason for doing that is I just recognized that then I could uh, divide each of these by 2 and really be looking at negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 287. Okay, that just makes it easier when I go to simplify here. I'm not dividing by a 2, not having to deal with that. If you don't mind dealing with that, you don't have to worry about that. And you can go ahead and approximate at this step. Okay, so I'm going to approximate now. Because we're talking about um, lengths on a triangle, <coughs> the negative isn't going to make any sense here because this is really two different answers. This is negative 1 minus the square root of 287 and it's also negative 1 plus the square root of 287. Okay, This one right here is going to give us a negative value. That doesn't make any sense in the context of it being a side on a triangle. So I'm just going to eliminate that one and work with this one right here. And so I want to get a value for 287. So you're just going to take the square root on your calculator. And they did say to go to the hundredths position which is the two decimal places. So this is negative 1 plus 16.94, if you do that on your calculator. And so this is really, neg um, excuse me, positive 15.94 when we do that math there. So this would actually be, since this is what x is equal to, and x is the shortest length, the shortest side here, then that's actually the answer that they're asking for in this problem. And that would be it in this problem.